looks like everybody is good. All right, so just like we've been doing, I'm gonna explain the workout first, then, um, then I'll demonstrate, then we'll warm up, then we'll start. So for today, we're gonna work through the EMOM timing. So we only have 60 seconds to complete our exercise for a certain amount of reps. We're gonna do three stations, three exercises, A, B, and C. For all A exercises, you're choosing the heaviest weight you can do for 10 reps. For B, you're choosing the heaviest weight for 12 reps. For C, you're doing as many reps as you can within 45 seconds. So you're going for time rather than reps. We're doing three sets of those exercises before we switch. So we go A, B, C, that's set one. We're gonna do that three times and rotate. But you're only gonna have 60 seconds to do 10 reps of A. So if that takes you 30 seconds to do, now you have 30 seconds of rest to get ready for your B exercise. Same thing for B going into C. So whatever time is left, that is your rest time. Um, so any questions on the timing so far? All about it good? All right, so I'm gonna start off with station one. For here, we're gonna do dumbbell bent over wide rows. So from here, you're gonna grab two dumbbells. You're gonna hold them right on the outside of your legs. Hips back, lower back nice and flat. Usually when we row, I have you guys bring your elbow close to the ribs. When you come up, I want you pulling your arms out wide. That way your elbow is far away from your rib cage. Hold for a second at the top, come back down into the middle. So all the way up and out, squeeze hold, back down and in. Up and out, squeeze hold, back down and in. So you're just gonna follow the natural bend of your elbow as you're coming up. Then our B exercise, we're gonna go right into curls. But from here, I'm gonna start in this hammer curl position. So the dumbbell is gonna be facing the long way. I'm gonna twist on the way up, squeeze hold. Then I'm gonna twist again at the top. I'm gonna keep my elbows pinched in, slowly come back down, reset your hands. So again, twist on the way up, slight pause, twist again, slowly come back down, reset the hands. So that's gonna be our B exercise for 12 reps. Now for C, we're gonna go into the Russian twist. You can do this with or without weight. From here, if you are holding the dumbbell, we're gonna hold it the long way. You're gonna sit back onto your butt. Your heels should be off the floor. I'm gonna twist all the way to the right. But if my hands go to the right, that means my feet slightly go to the left. Now when I switch, my feet go to the right, my hands go to the left and vice versa. So you just wanna make sure you're looking to the side and you're keeping your core nice and tight. That way your heels don't fall to the floor. So that is gonna be station number one. Any questions on those three exercises? When I do mine, is it five on each side? For you, I want you to do 10 on each side. You can choose a little okay. bit lighter of a weight, but I want, Chris, I want 10 left, 10 right, within okay. 60 seconds. Okay. All right, so for here now, I'm gonna have you guys stand, feet nice and wide. From here, you're gonna to touch the floor with your fingertips, come back up, push the hips in, hands go on the hips, and then coming back down. And push the hips as far back as you can. Just tap in with the fingertips to the floor. Now reach the floor and hold. Either fingertips or palms to the floor. Now that we're in the middle, sway from the left foot to the right, back to the left, back to the right. Reach to the left foot and hold, but keep the left leg as straight as you can. Bring your body as close to the leg as you can. Switch to the right. Now let's stand up, but I want you to bring your feet just a little bit closer. Not much, just a little bit. Now from here, I'm gonna walk it out on my palms, but when I go back, I don't want my hips going up in the air. Bend your knees. You wanna land flat into a squat. So arms out in front, 
Your feet should be flat to the floor. Walk it out. Walk it back in. Bend those knees. Make sure your feet are flat to the floor. So sit back on your heels. Good, you guys. Good. Dropping the hips down. Bending those knees. Keeping those feet nice and flat. We don't want to be on the toes for this. Good. Now, once you hit that high plank, I want you to bring the left foot to your left hand, but only the heel is going to be touching. So I want you to have your toes nice and high, and you're just pushing down into this side, walk it back, switch legs. So make sure that toe is slightly elevated, just the heel to the floor. Good, push down into that hip. <clears throat> all right now from here i want you to sit back on both heels just shake the elbows out slightly just turning to the side to the left to the right we're going to grab one wrist bring it high above the head pull to one side make sure you really pull that wrist out switch hands Shake it out. Now you're just going to crawl the arms as far forward as you can. Keep reaching. Back to a regular high plank, but from here, push your hips all the way up and back and hold. Good, good, good. Back down to a regular high plank. Jump in both the knees on the outside of the elbows. Drop the hips down, hands come off the floor. Jump it back. Ready, guys. All right, one more. Then we're gonna stand it up. Imagine we have a jump rope. Just light on the toes and you're just bouncing on the feet, shuffling those feet forward and back, like you're on a jump rope. Nice little pace, just build that speed up, try to get faster and faster, making sure you're shuffling, so one foot forward, one foot back. Now to jumping jacks, so bring your speed up a little bit faster, heels off the floor, toes are the only thing touching, but a little bit faster than the jump rope speed. Now we wanna spike your heart rate up. Good, arms nice and high. Now we're gonna go to fast feet. So we're just tapping the toes to the floor. Square stance, just tapping. Tapping those toes to the floor, moving those hands up and down. Good, tap, 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 tap. Now you're gonna go into high knees, a fast 10 second sprint as fast as you can. Imagine you got the last 40 yards left in a sprint. So 10, nine, faster and higher, 10, nine, bring it up to your waist, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just give me one burpee as fast as you can. Up, down, nice and quick. Make sure the upper body moves with the lower. All right, so let's shake it out. Let's grab our weights, grab some water. Station number one, remember, we're doing dumbbell rows, you're doing dumbbell curls, and you're doing the Russian twist. But on the rows, you're pulling your elbows out wide, so they should not be touching the ribs. On your curls, you twist up, twist again at the top, then come back down, then you have to reset your hands at the bottom. And we only have 60 seconds to complete those reps. So we're going 10 reps, 12 reps, then 45 seconds. We got three sets total. Once everyone is ready, just give me a quick thumbs up and then I'll start the timer. All right, looks like everyone is good. So we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Pull the elbows out nice and wide, lower back flat. 
reps. Hold that squeeze for a second. 10 total. If it feels like it's too easy after this set, next set, I want you to hold it longer at the top. Elbows out wide. If you feel like it's a lot of stress on your lower back, I want you to ditch both dumbbells and do one side over the other. Got 20 seconds left, getting ready for B. Now, when we come to these curls, you need to glue your elbows to your ribs. Really watch for your elbow. If it starts to move away from the ribs, just recorrect yourself. Couple seconds left. All right, we're starting with B for 12 reps in five, four, three, two, one, go. 12 curls, pinch those elbows in, twist on the way up, twist again at the top, come back down, reset. Good, so you're using a lot more of the forearm today. Good form, good Julie, good Aaron. Good Katie. Because naturally when you come down from the top, those elbows are gonna wanna bow out. You're trying to fight to keep them in. That's gonna put more emphasis on the front side of your um, front side of your bicep. Good, Chris. 20 seconds left to complete 12. Five, four, three, two, one. Right to Russian twist. We got 45 seconds. Keep those obliques nice and tight. You can do this one with or without weight. Just making sure those heels are off the floor. Good, you guys. 20 seconds down already. Good, as the hands come to the right, your feet slightly shifts to the left and vice versa. 10 seconds. Make sure you're breathing out. Keep that core flexed. Five, four, three, two, one. Short little break, that's set one. We're going back to A, so back to our wide rows in 10 seconds. Choosing the best weight for 10 reps. Five. Four, three, two, one, start. Good, pulling those elbows out nice and wide. There you go, good. Really squeezing through the upper back rather than our lats. Good form. Knees just slightly back. Good, Melissa. Good, Andrea. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Right to B. 12 reps total. Good. Keeping those elbows in, you guys. Good, Aaron. Watching for those elbows, especially on the way down. because They want to bow out. You're fighting to keep them in. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds left. All right, five, four. Three, two, one, and go right to your core exercise, right to Russian twist. 
Look into each side as you twist to the right and the left. <clears throat> Keeping those heels slightly elevated, core tight for balance. All right, 15 seconds left. Couple seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. That is set two. We have one more time through at this station. So going back to our rows, five, four, three, two, one, start. Good, Aaron. Good check. Good, Andrea. Take your time with these. Squeeze hard for every rep. Make each and every one count. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds, almost done with station one. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Keep those elbows in. Good. And as you twist at the top, really squeeze those biceps. Feel the stretch on the way down. Good. Twenty seconds left, you guys. Ten seconds. Getting ready for the last exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Got 45 seconds, as many reps as you can. Good. Look to the left, look to the right. Keeping those feet and knees together. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. That's one station down. We got two to go. I'll let you guys rest up. Then when everyone's good, I'll go over station two. All right. All right. So for station two now, we're going to do our inverted push-up. So from here, you can either start on your knees, on the feet, close together, hard, feet wide, easier. One arm is going to be slightly in front, just like so. The other palm is going to be slightly back. So the hand that is in front, your elbow is bending out. The other hand that is back, your elbow is bending in. So if we're doing 10 total, I want five this way, five this way. So from here, I'll show it on top. One elbow goes out, one drives in. I come up, then I switch my hands. You can complete 
all five this way before you switch, or you can alternate every rep. I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, so that's gonna be our A exercise. Now for B, you guys are gonna grab one dumbbell. We're gonna go right into our goblet squat, but from here, you're gonna follow down a tempo. It should take two seconds to get down, but one second up. So one, two, one, that's one. One, two, one, that's two, until we hit 12 total. So as you're coming up, really push through those heels, Take a second to ugh, ugh, take a second to squeeze the glutes at the top. So that will be our B. Now for C, you're gonna do cross body mountain climbers. So I'm bringing the right knee as close as I can to the left elbow, and vice versa. I'm just twisting that hip in, and I'm squeezing my abs as I bring that knee nice and close to my chest. So that is station two. Any questions on those? <clears throat> Everybody good? All right. All right, we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Remember, one elbow goes out, one goes in. The hand that is in front, that elbow goes out. The hand that is back, that elbow is being tucked in. There we go. Good, you guys. Good, really press through that palm. Five on the left, five on the right. 20 seconds. All right, 15 seconds. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, go. Here we go, goblet squat, two seconds down, one second up. Push through those heels, you have 12 total. Pushing those hips in as you come up, take a second to squeeze though. Extending those legs all the way straight. And making sure our stance, we only want to be hip width apart. So sometimes if we're a little bit too wide, it can be a little bit too stressful on the knees. Nice hip width. Good, Melissa. Then Chris, I'm going to have you bring your feet in like an inch closer. There you go. Good. 20 seconds, you guys. Form, pushing those hips back, bending those knees, 10 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, one, cross body mountain climbers, go. Really twist your hips as you're going to that side. Keep the lower back nice and flat. Really push off those toes. Good, left side, right side. Bringing that knee as close to that elbow as you can. Making sure the wrist and the shoulder are on the same line. Got 15 seconds to go, full sprint. Keep that speed up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So that's set one. We're going back to those push-ups in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good. One arm's driving out. The other one's being tucked in. Good, you guys. Good, Jack. Good, Katie.
feel free to sip some water during that rest time. Shake out those arms, keep that blood moving around. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Remember on the goblet squat, two second negative, one second up. Five, four, three, two, one, start. 12 total. Squeeze the glutes. Good, good, good. Good squats, you guys. Breathe out as you're coming up. A lot of time. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Cross body climbers, light on the toes. Really twist your hip in to that side. Keep that rhythm going. Make sure the lower back is nice and flat. So just slightly lean forward. Keep your whole body in line. Good, you guys. Go for speed. Nice and quick. Squeeze those obliques. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. That was set two. You got one more time through here. So we're going back to those push-ups in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good. Shake it out. Rest up. Get ready for the goblet squats. You guys got 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds left. This is the last one of B and C. Ten seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Good, two seconds down, one second up. Good, you guys. Push through those heels, keeping the chest up, shoulders back. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Last set of mountain climbers coming up. 10 seconds. Go as fast as you can on these. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one go this is it last exercise for station two good twist 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 halfway Fifteen seconds left, nice and quick. As hard as you can go for fifteen seconds. 
Now it's 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. That was it for station two. Give you guys a couple seconds, then I'll go over our last station. All right, so what we're gonna do for here, we're gonna start with our shoulders first. So we're gonna go into a dumbbell lateral raise. But from here, I don't wanna come out all the way straight. I don't wanna come all the way out in front. I want somewhere kind of right in the middle. So from here, I want both feet close together, chest up, shoulders back. I'm gonna have my arms come all the way up out this angle. Once they're straight, slight pause, come back down. So again, chest up, shoulders back. My arms are coming out at an angle. Squeeze the shoulders at the top, come right back down to the hips. So that's gonna be our A exercise. Then for B, we can either grab one dumbbell, hold it by the chin, or we can grab two dumbbells, hold them right by our hips. We're just gonna go into reverse lunges. So you're gonna start hip width apart. My right leg's gonna take a big step back. I'm gonna get as low as I can before that knee touches. I'm gonna press through that left heel, squeeze that side. So again, now I'm gonna switch to the left, press through the right heel, squeeze at the top. So I'll be doing six lunges on the left, six on the right. Then our last exercise, we're gonna do a low plank seesaw. So from here, both of the forearms are flat to the floor. We do not wanna have the hands together. So you kinda of wanna keep this 11 the entire time. I'm gonna walk my feet back, lean slightly forward, slightly back, slightly forward, slightly back and holding. My feet close together, that's gonna to be the hardest. If I widen up my feet, it's gonna be a little bit easier. I can drop to the knees and do the same thing. So that is our last station. Any questions on the final three? Everybody good? All right. Let me just grab the timer. So we're gonna start with those dumbbell raises in five, four, Three, two, one, go. Oh, we got 10 total coming out at an angle. Go slow, don't rush these, especially on the way down. Don't just drop the arms. On the way down should even be harder. Go nice and slow and controlled. It can be explosive on the way up, but controlled on the way down. 30 seconds to hit 10. <laughs> 20 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Now we're coming into lunges in five. Four, three, two, one, go. Good, chest up, shoulders back. Six on the left, six on the right. Really explode up through that heel. Good form, you guys. Good job of keeping the shoulders back. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds left. Now we're going into that low plank seesaw. And remember, don't over exaggerate that lean. It's just slightly forward, slightly back. Five, four. Three, two, one, and start. Good, keep those hips tucked in, lower back nice and flat. Feet closer, harder, feet wider, easier, knees to the floor, easiest variation. Keep the core nice and tight, that way you don't fall to the side. Halfway.
15 seconds. Make sure you breathe out and squeeze 10 seconds. 3, 2, 1, and rest. That's set one. We're going to go back to the presses in 10 seconds or back to our raises in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Good, Jack. Good, Aaron. Good, squeeze those shoulders. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds left. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good, six on the left, six on the right. Good, keep the chest up, shoulders back. Get as low as you can before that back knee touches the floor. And really push through that lead leg. All right, 15 seconds. All right, we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good, keep those hips in. Good form, good form. You start to feel a lot of stress on the lower back, drop to the knees or make the feet wider. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, we have one more time through. So last one of A, B, and C. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Good, pinch those shoulder blades. Twenty seconds, you guys. Keep breathing and squeezing. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Right to lunges. We got one more exercise after this. Thirty seconds. Push through that heel. Five, 
15 seconds left. Last exercise, you guys. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Good, good, good. Keeping that lower back nice and flat. Fifteen seconds left. This is it right here. Ten seconds. Three, two, one and a rest so that is it good job let's just grab a quick drink of water shake out your arms and legs and then we're going to go into our finisher we're going to do a little cardio so the timing it'll be tabata 2010 but our two exercises we're going to combine two movements for the first one we're going to do a side shuffle to jump squat so you're jumping at the end of that side shuffle. So from here, I'm gonna get in my shuffle stance. If I shuffle to the right, jump as high as I can, lay it back down into my jump squat, shuffle to the left, jump, back to the right, jump, back to the left, jump. So again, side shuffle and jump squat. You perform the jump at the end of the shuffle. Then our second exercise, we're gonna do fast feet. So from here, slightly leaning forward, Knees bent, I'm on my toes, I'm just tapping the feet and I'm moving those hands up and down. Just moving those hands like you're chopping, it's gonna help build that rhythm up in your feet. So, any questions on those two? All right, we're gonna start with side shuffle jump squats in five, four, three, two, one, go. Go ahead, jump as high as you can. Make sure you stay low in your shuffle, that way you're low enough to get that full jump squat in. Three, two, one, rest. Short little break, short little break. Now we're going to fast feet. This should be a, as fast as you possibly can. Three, two, one, go. Tap, tap, tap. Faster, faster, tap, tap, tap. Good, heels should never hit the floor, just on the toes, 10 seconds, full speed. Moving those hands up and down, find that rhythm. Burn it out, burn it out. Three, two, one, rest. Short little break, back to it. side shuffle jump squats. In three, two, one, go. Stay low in that shuffle. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Going back to fast feet. A couple seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good. Tap, tap, tap. Lay it on the feet. Go for speed. Good, Melissa. Good, Katie. 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Work, work, work. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, that was our second set. For the last set, we're going 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Three, two, one, go. We got 30 seconds. Shuffle the jump squat. Make sure you get low in that squat before you jump because you want that full extension. Good, so you're pumping through your knees. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, short break, this is it. Now we're going 30 seconds for the fast speed. 
in five, four, three, two, one, go. Nice and quick. Good, tap those toes, tap those toes. You're 10 seconds down already, 20 to go. Good, moving those legs. 15 seconds, halfway. 10 seconds, full speed, this is it. It's our final 10 seconds of work. Three, two, one, and done. Good job, you guys. Very good. Now let's get a good stretch. So from here, if you can, hold on to something. We're going to get a good stretch through our quad. Make sure both knees are lined up together. You don't want your knee all the way back here. Just line them up. That foot is holding on to that ankle, standing nice and straight. And you kind of want to like slightly like try to kick your foot out of that hand because that's going to give some tension through your quad. That's really going to help stretch it out. Shake it out, switch sides. <clears throat> From here now, one foot forward, one foot back. The heel is to the floor, the toe is facing up. Lean down and reach for that toe. Thank you. You are welcome, have a good one. You too. Come up, switch sides. All right, let's stand up <clears throat> from here. Left arm across the body, right arm, pull that elbow in. Keep that arm nice and tight. <clears throat> Shake it out, switch sides. Left arm behind the head, right arm grab that elbow, lean down to the side you are pulling. Switch arms. <clears throat> And release from here, both feet together. Big inhale, reach all the way up as high as you can. Hold that breath, keep reaching. Big deep breath out, slowly come down, keep the legs straight, lower back flat. Reach for the shins, the toes, or the floor, and hold. Big deep breath out, come up, and that is it, you guys. Very good today. Started off the week very strong. <clears throat> Thanks, Ian. You're Thank welcome. you so much. Yes. Thanks, Ian. Enjoy the rest of your week. Okay. See you later. See you. Bye, Ian. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye you guys. Bye.